Hey, thanks for joining us today. My name's Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. In this tutorial video, we're gonna be featuring the Deco Dot game called Less, Same, More. If you're new to us, feel free to join us at sis4teachers.org or you can find us on Facebook if you search Strategic Intervention Solutions. In the game Less, Same, More, it's not a competitive game because it's played with one person but can be played with two, is a really great game for preschool and for kindergarten as they're learning and familiarizing themselves with the deco dots. There's a less same more challenge game that will be featured where students can be using it with combinations as they become more familiar with deco dots in the latter part of kindergarten early first grade. Let's go play. This is the game less same more. This is a great game at the beginning in kindergarten or even in preschool Again, familiarizing students with the deco dots and how they work. The kids can pick a focus number or the teacher can pick a focus number and they're gonna decide if the card that they picked is less, same, or more. It might be greater than, less than, or equal to, however you want to um, use the vocabulary on this game board is, um, is up to you, but the kids will have that understanding of looking at the focus number. When we look here, the kids have the activity sheet if you're using the math salad bar and using this in math workshop, with what deck they're gonna be using. This can be played with one or more players. They don't have to just play um, by themselves, they can play with someone else, but it doesn't really have a winner or a loser like the other games. There's also the accountability sheet and then deciding which color deck um, they're going to be in. For this example, I'm going to show it in the yellow deck, which is our 10 frame deck to get the idea. We're going to come up with a focus number that we've selected, which is going to be seven. So I'm going to put my focus number on my sheet here to show that we're looking for numbers of seven. We want the kids to be able to subitize, be able to instantly recognize how many they see, and then put it in the correct sorting category. So if I pull out the number four, I'm going to look at it for our focus number and realize that it is less. In this game, we're not using the wilds because it wouldn't really serve a purpose. I have another four, it's going to be less than my total. Here I have a six and it's also less. As I keep flipping, I have a nine that is more. If the kids ever come up to a seven, they're gonna put that right in the category of same. When you want the kids to record or to be able to show with accountability, you can just have them put which numbers they're coming up with. So, so far in the more category, I have the number nine. Over here, I've had the number three. I had the number um, six. So anytime a number comes up, they can put that here to show that that number is less. They'll continue sorting until the whole entire deck is sorted into same, less, more. The accountability sheet can be turned in to show what they're doing. They're obviously going to flip more cards and there are spaces in the accountability sheet, but the purpose of the accountability sheet is to make sure that students are doing what they're asked and doing it in an independent way that you can kind of count on. Again, this game could be made a lot easier if we made it with the five frame. This is a really great game to do for students that are working on the scatter, whether you want to do dots in with the stars on his sneakers or the stars off, you could also control how you're doing that. This game is the less, same, more challenge game. This is a game for students that you might want to help them with looking at quantities that go over 10. So we call it a combination, less, same, more. On this game board, there's a spot for them to put their focus combination. Teachers can either decide what that combination is or the sum of that combination is for students or you could let them draw. Just be really careful while you're playing this game that you understand how many cards are in the set of deco dots that you're working with. So for example, if I was going to come up with a sum um, that's too high for maybe using the red deck or too low, you want to make sure you're kind of understanding the, the highest quantity in that deck. There's an accountability sheet that's very similar to the regular, less, same, more as well, but they're deciding on what that focus sum is going to be. So I'm going to choose to use the green deck here where it scatters. Again, if you see kids using the green deck and they're touching and counting the dots, you maybe have them mis uh, leveled, and so you want to bring them down a level to see if they're doing it without. In this case here, we have a seven and we have a four. So kids are gonna know that in this case that our total is 11. So our sum that we're looking for is 11. In this game, students are going to flip two cards. Again, there isn't a winner or a loser for this game. It's just getting them familiar with the deco dots, but students could certainly play together and take turns. So I'm gonna flip my sum. The sum that I have is going to be six plus six. 
Our focus sum is 11, the sum of this is 12. So I know that these two cards total something that is more. So I'm going to have over here on the more column, I'm gonna go ahead and put my six plus six equals 12, that that is more than our focus sum. If I draw my next two cards, I know here that I have eight and two more makes 10 plus one more actually equals ours, our sum that we're looking for. So I'm gonna put it in the same category. Over here, kids can go ahead and add their number sentence together that they have to show that that sum that they created was total to 11, which is the same. Last one here as we look at this, I know that if I put these two in the frame, it's gonna total 10 plus one more makes it 11. So we have another sum that is the same. So kids can continue recording on the accountability sheet. However, there's not enough spaces for how many times they'll play. The idea of the accountability sheet is for them to show you while they're in their station that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. This game is also can be leveled differently if you don't want to make it as hard by using that red deck where the sum might be smaller or even the yellow deck where it's just going to be 10. Again, don't forget about the Dotson and being able to separate the deck from the st uh, stars on the sneakers and the stars off because that can kind of lower the sums that you're working with. If you don't have stars on his sneakers, those total sums will equal to 10. When they have a star on his sneaker, it's going to total up to 20. Thanks so much for joining us for the tutorial video on the Deco Dot game, Less, Same, More. I hope you found the tutorial video helpful to be able to understand how to differentiate your instruction as well as to give students a way to show accountability. There are a ton of resources and other tutorial videos on Deco Dots on our website at sis4teachers.org. I'm Shannon, the creator of Deco Dots, and I hope that you have fun playing.